Hey dudes, here's how to make snowflakes in Inkscape. So let's open Inkscape. So here we are in Inkscape. First, I'm gonna show you snowflakes that are made out of lines. First, go to the Bezier Curves tool and let's create a line. Click, then hold control to create a vertical line and double click to end the line. Now let's turn on all of the snapping. Up next, we create some diagonal lines. So click, then maybe like here, double click, then go to the move tool. While this diagonal line is selected, control D and flip it using this. Now align it right here where the two diagonal lines connect. Now let's put them in here so we can make like a branch thing. Then control D and control D and drag to create these branches. I want to make this bigger, so I'm gonna make it like this. I'm gonna make this a little bigger too. Okay, now we have one like tendril branch thing of the snowflake. Next, let's go and go to our star tool. And I'm gonna make it into a polygon and make the corners into six. Then click and drag and hold control to create a regular hexagon and in this thing. And since you can't see it properly, let's make the line black and makes the fill none. Now, as you can see, both of these strokes are not equal. So let's select both of these and let's go to fill and stroke, stroke style, and let's change this to pixels. Let's change this to maybe five pixels. There we go. Let me just make some adjustments a bit. Now, while we are in the hexagon, control D, then control shift and create a smaller version like so. Now let's complete the whole snowflake. First, select all of the things that create the one spike or tendril of the snowflake. Then control G to group them. Then let's place it on top of here so we could have it connected. Now let's duplicate this control T. Then let's flip it around right here vertically and drag it to the bottom. Then select both of these, then control D, then click again to enable the rotation, then hold control and drag until we connect it here. Then control D again to duplicate, then drag, and here we go, a snowflake. Okay, let's set this aside for a bit. Then I show you snowflakes made out of curvy shapes. So, just like the tutorial I did with the leaves, let's go back to the Bezier Curves tool, click hold control to make a vertical line then click but this time i'm gonna make some crazy shape things to make the snowflake so i'm gonna make this like a curve thing right here then curves right here then curves right here and connect it here what i'm doing is trying to make what an approximate shape i'm going to do for the snowflake let me just do some adjustments here now I'll add more shapes into this. So I'm gonna add like a, and here. You can customize this snowflake wherever you want. I'm just going for this kind of design. It's a little uh, weird, but it works. Now I made this half, I'm gonna select all of these, control D, control G, so I can have a backup copy if I want to make uh, some changes. And I'm gonna combine these smaller shapes by holding all of them, then control plus, then with the largest shape and the smaller shapes selected, control minus. Now we have this weird shape. Now let's make it make sense. First, let's change the color of this into maybe this pink color. Let's remove the stroke and control D then flip it around using uh, the flip selected objects horizontally or just hit H. Then connect these two. Then while these two are selected, control plus to combine them. Now let's have fun with this. Control D, then I'm gonna flip it vertically. Then I'm gonna combine right here. Then hold select these, control D, click again and create these like this, or like this, whatever you want. I'm just gonna go for this, control D again and like this. And I can control D, control G so I can group them so I could just in case I want to edit that. And I'm gonna combine them in control plus. That's it. You can also make snowflakes in different numbers of spokes or branches. I went for six because that's usually the standard look of a snowflake is. So yeah, that's how you make snowflakes in Inkscape. So anyways, dudes, I'm new creator. 
and see you later.